I am the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for joining me this beautiful morning. I have got a very cool gun for you, a semi-auto 357 air rifle that packs a serious punch. Keep watching, we're gonna talk about it. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It goes to supporting the channel, helps me grow. Um, YouTube has shadow banned my channel so it doesn't grow as well as it used to. It's been like that for a couple of years, so you sharing this video will really help. So here I've got the Western Big Boar Rattler. This is a 357 semi-auto power-packed air gun. It's awesome. I've been shooting it for a while. I've been testing it for a few weeks now. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this, how it goes. First and foremost, this is of course semi-auto, which is fantastic. We've got safe and semi back here. There's another safety on the other side of the gun for added protection as well. You can see that the design is very similar to the LCS uh, design. That's because the designer left that company and went somewhere else. And a designer has every right to go wherever he wants and earn a keep. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So here we've got standard grip. Uh, this is a bull pups kind of situation where the barrel comes all the way back here, but the trigger is still up front, which I appreciate because I really don't like bull pups. I don't like bull pups where I have to cock it way back in the back, but there's no cocking with this one. The trigger is up front, no cocking, fully semi-auto, fully semi-auto. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Feels good in the shoulder. You can line it up pretty well. I've got an Athlon Helos 4x20 scope on this, which is a fantastic scope. This is a 480cc bottle, and it is moderated on the front with this shroud system here, which actually keeps it very quiet. I appreciate that. It does come with a full Picatinny rail on the bottom for a bipod and any other accessory you may need, as well as Picatinny on the sides and on the top. That's just a quick overview of the gun. The trigger itself is pretty good. Um, now I will say when shooting this, I learned very quickly that this is not your grandpa's air gun. This thing kicks and you have really got to do your due diligence to hold it steady. Otherwise you're gonna get barrel bounce. And I noticed that uh, when I let some other people shoot it, when I was shooting it myself for starters, I had a large spread and I had to really dial down think about all of my mechanics and do it properly in order to get an accurate shot. And that's just because of how much power is coming out of this. You can pick one of these up at Shooter's Bench, which is uh, Idaho Air Guns, shootersbench.com. Uh, they were super awesome to let me do this review. Also working with Air Guns of Arizona to get this done. I really appreciate all of their help. Now, in terms of the actual projectile itself, I have tried the High Arc Hunters, 175 grain. I have tried the Nielsen, 110 grain. And also, some. I'm about to do some Pro Slug, 109 grain. Now, the nice thing about this particular air gun is that it's very adjustable. The regulator adjustment is up here, though I don't recommend you adjusting that. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Uh, we ended up adjusting it the wrong way, which is really bad for the air gun. Whatever they do from the factory is pretty good up here. Uh, speeds that we were getting with standard pellets, these are the Hades uh, from JSB, were around 900 feet per second straight from the factory, or straight from uh, the shop rather. And that's really fast for a pellet. That's doing really well. And then we did some tweaks and some changes and we were able to get the Nielsen 110 grain shooting at 900 feet per second very consistently too. It has a regulator here in the back and it keeps it very consistent, which is nice. One of the things that I do think about this particular air gun is if you're gonna shoot slugs, that's really what this is for. I mean, I understand pellets, air guns, that's great, but pellets are the past. I'm sorry, guys. I'm saying it right now, pellets are the past, slugs are the future. So you can tune this up uh, if you don't tune it up, you can get a couple of magazines with regular pellets. With the tuned up, you can probably get one magazine. It's a 15 round magazine before you have to refill again. And you don't ever want to let this go below the regulator pressure. That is a bad idea for an air gun in general. Don't let it happen. Keep it above 140 MPA and you should be just fine. Or whatever your regulator is set to. Mine's at 140. And in fact, the instructions on this gun say don't let it get under 140. 
So there's that. If you do want more power or less power in terms of the hammer itself, you can adjust back here. This gives you a wide range of adjustment and you can adjust your power accordingly if you wanna turn it down a bit or turn it up a bit. And then you can work on what is most accurate for you. Now I appreciate that. This is a big knob in the back that makes the adjustments easy. You just have to fiddle with it some and see what works for you. Well, I think let's go ahead and shoot this some. We're gonna do the pro slugs, see how they group there. At the end, I've got the Tacticam set up on here with the FTS mount. This is a Tacticam 5.0. They did just come out with a 6.0. Different system, it doesn't work with the FTS, so I am still using the uh, 5.0, which is a rockin' setup anyway. And you can probably find these at a discount now, so just saying, that's a good idea. Some of this footage you saw earlier, but you can see that this was the 110 grain Nielsen's before we do the Pro Slugs, and we're getting a bit of a bounce because of how highly tuned I have this. You see that first group there on the left was pretty spread out. And the longer that I shot these, the better it actually got. By the end of this, you'll see that the group tightened in. And that was really because I started taking my due diligence, spending more time really holding the gun properly instead of just considering this to be like a 22 or a 25 caliber gun. This has a serious punch and you can see that group is really tightening up there now. 110 grain Nielsen's and we're about to do some 100 yard shooting with it that'll also show you the advantage. Now you can see I just missed that shot high again. I really have to take my time, think about my hold, and now we start hitting steel pretty consistently out there. Watch this. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. All right, a special thank you to Pro Slugs for sending these out for testing. Let's go ahead and give this a whirl here. Wow, 937. Now you're gonna see once again that the group spreads out because the tune that I'm using is really not tuned for the lighter weight slugs. And I know I'm calling a 110 grain slug a lighter weight. It's lightweight compared to the next thing that you're gonna see. So take a look at this group. It starts to dial in as I continue shooting. So there may be a little bit of a bridge, a little bit of a curve on that regulator, but more than anything, I think it has to do with the fact that I just need some heavier slugs. So let's take a look at that and see what happens. 9-10. See, now the group starts getting tighter in there as I'm just doing some rapid fire near the end. 9-0-1. Also, a special thank you to Utah Air Guns for the new Air Marksman bottle. I run out of air constantly filming, so they hooked me up with this new bottle. It's big, it's nice. It has a quick disconnect on the top, so I can take this off super easy, put a different hose on it whenever I want. It's awesome. So very special thank you to them. This thing's pretty slick. All right, we're gonna try five of the High Arc Hunters. Now these fit pretty tight in this, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but let's give it a go. These are 175 grains, so I expect a major drop out there. Let's go ahead and start the camera and see what speeds these do. I'm gonna hold a little bit in that top left corner there. 763. 766, wow. 763. 761. One more. Dang. 759, wow. Those actually work really well out of this. They're much slower, but they're called High Arc Hunter for a reason. 
Man, that was a nice group. At 50 yards, that's the best group that we've gotten with anything so far. So in terms of how much power this is, I think you really need a heavy slug if you have it tuned up as high as I do. Now, again, you can use a lighter slug if you want from the factory. It's probably not gonna be as high tuned up as I have it right now. It's pretty high. When I first got this, we were doing the high arc hunters at 700 feet per second before we retuned it and got it more powerful uh, for a hunt that's coming up. So the fact that that just launched those at 760 feet per second with that accuracy is pretty freaking impressive. All right, once again, we have our target set at 100 yards out there. I'm going to take one shot here to confirm on the target. I've made a little adjustment to my scope. All right, not bad, 771. Now these are called high arc hunters for a reason because they have a high arc as they come down. So I'm not sure where to hold, let's find out. We've got 100 yards zoomed in. I'm gonna try a hold of three mils for starters and let's see how that does. All right, here we go, three mils. Wow dead on. Pulled that one a bit. <laughs> Sorry, this is this is excitement right here. 100 yards. That group? Oh man. Yep, I'm impressed. Gosh. Gosh. See, you could be having this fun with air guns. Thank you so much for watching. This has been an in-depth, weeks-long review, messing with power levels, messing with different projectiles. And all in all, the High Arc Hunters worked really well really well as you can see we did get the nielsen's on at 100 consistently too so you can try those out but at closer distances it was a wider spread because i am really rocketing the power through this so if you're going to do that you need something that can handle the power thank you guys so much for watching this has been fun i'm going to be hunting with this at varmint bash 2022 coming up you will see this on the american air gunner channel hunting assuming all goes well and the weather holds out, and we're healthy and happy and everything. So keep watching. Watch for me on American Air Gunner. We're going to have fun. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this. I deal with the uh, shadow ban algorithm constantly. So please share this with your buddies. Like, subscribe, and comment. It helps the algorithm, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Yes! <laughs> you guys excited? Yes. Excited. Yeah! No, it's certainly thrilling. I guess it part. was. This is going to be a fun adventure. Yeah. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Did you see that? Woo! Yeah! You can do this. Get out there. Let's go do this. Woo! He's so fired up. This guy. I love oh, this guy. Absolutely.